multiple groups spending the day preparing for Donald Trump's visit. The presumptive Republican presidential nominee is hosting a fundraiser at the Oak Hills Country Club on the northwest side tomorrow afternoon. Pilar Arias took an advance visit to the area today. She spoke with supporters, protesters, as well as nearby businesses. Aside from a few police officers near the Oak Hills Country Club, there's no physical signs that Donald Trump will be here soon. But that doesn't mean people aren't talking about his visit. I had a, fr a few friends texting me that said, you know, he's coming, he's coming. Um, are y'all going to plan anything? As the founder of Maestranza, Denise Hernandez is the organizer of a peaceful protest gaining lots of momentum on social media. We're just here to show power in numbers and that we will peacefully and strongly say that we are against hate, um, specifically uh, the way that Donald Trump Trump incites hateful rhetoric. Meanwhile, Republican Party of Bear County Chairman Robert Stovall is anticipating the visit he says so many in Bear County are in support of. You've got a businessman here that has been successful for decades. He's done things when he says he's going to do them. He does them and he finishes them. Does he have kind of a sharp tongue? Yes, he does, but he says what's on his mind. Businesses in the already busy medical center area say they already have game plans in place. This nearby pharmacy not only plans to be open, but staff have already met with the Secret Service and SAPD about keeping non-customers out of their lot. Can I think of a few things on Friday? Here at Ray's Pizzeria, the owners say it will be business as usual. We're busy any day at lunchtime. We're packed all the time, so we don't expect much and uh, we're going to be busy, hopefully. Both supporters and protesters of Trump say they expect peace and respect. Pilar Arias, KSAT 12 News. Now, we have learned that Trump's event is sold out for tomorrow. SAPD not planning any road closures in the area, but they do ask the drivers to be prepared during the morning commute and lunch hour. You can look for live coverage both on air and online of Trump's arrival. And if you're planning to participate in Trump's visit tomorrow, whether as a supporter, protester, or just an observer, you can send us pictures and updates over social media using the hashtags TrumpNSA and KSAT News.